It's going to get loud soon as massive numbers of cicadas emerge in full force. In fact, I saw some of the exoskeletons on my driveway oh, this morning. Oh, get ready. Uh, <laughs> just the beginning. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers spoke with the Missouri Department of Conservation about where we are in the cycle as we begin to notice some changes. We haven't really been hearing them uh, sing or perform yet, so we're probably just at those very early stages of them just beginning to emerge here in the area. Brood 19 is a 13 year periodical cicada that last emerged back in 2011. These emerge earlier than the annual or dog day cicadas that you hear in July and August. The difference is when the periodical cicadas emerge, it's like quantity over quality or whatever you want to say. They come out less often, but they come out in huge numbers, so they totally overwhelm predators. These cicadas spend the majority of their life underground. When they emerge, they'll climb a tree or other vertical structure, shed their exoskeleton, and take about a week to form into the adult. Once they do that, then they will very quickly start singing and making the sounds that they're famous for, and what they're making those sounds for is to attract uh, mates. Their sounds late spring will be impressive, but thankfully they only sing during the day. Millions of them are merging when they all are calling together, all those males calling together. It can be very, very, very loud. You might hear them indoors with all the windows and doors shut. If you go outside, you know, people have measured with decibel meters 90 to 100 decibels, which is getting close to airplane engine sounds. While the sound may be an annoyance, they serve an important role in the ecosystem because they're an abundant food source for many animals. And so as a result, this is actually a boon for them. This is actually a lot of nutrition that they're getting. And sometimes wildlife populations actually show a little bit of a spike after these cicada emergences. Once they emerge, we'll be dealing with them for about six weeks. They should be done by the 4th of July. And I think what's really fascinating as we see these winged creatures flying around for about six weeks, but this represents only a very small portion of their life. They've spent 13 years underground. So if you spent 13 years underground, I guess you'd, you'd be entitled to a little time flying around too. For Fox 2 News, I'm meteorologist Jamie Travers.